Max I flip at the time was the right trick to try, but if I was to try something again, I would for sure be switch frontside flip. Now I think we were all a bit surprised when we saw that Nigel Houston had tried to backside flip El Toro. I can think of a lot of gap tricks that I've seen Nigel do down big stuff where I could maybe consider him doing it down El Toro. But a backside flip? I don't really know if I've ever thought it with that trick. Middle rail got taken out, um, other rails got knobbed, and then at the, at the time the only option was to skate the stairs. I had always had, had it in mind to go for it and uh, backside flip was really the only good option for me. Just sitting here trying to imagine some parts, I can't really remember any big backside flips from him. And I think we all remember that Ryan Schickler tried the backside flip down El Toro. But you know, that was kind of a reason to believe that he could do that. Or actually he told us that he had done it, <laughs> if you remember that whole thing. This is what I heard, that you backside flipped El Toro, yes or no? Yes. Say it. Just, Just backside what, what flip. I get but I can think of a lot of big backside flips from Ryan Schickler. Yeah, it's just not really the same with Nigel, but then I thought of other gap tricks. So if he really wanted to land switch down El Toro, I would have gone with the switch heel. I think he's done a pretty big one of those, maybe a couple. I get that maybe the tray flip wasn't the one for Nigel. But then I thought, what about the hard flip? I wasn't really doing hard flips too much anymore. I'm just filming this video going off like memory, but I remember Nigel saying that, you know, he really wanted to get a flip trick down El Toro at some point, and that nowadays would probably be a switch frontside flip. I don't know if it's kind of like the situation with Chris Jocelyn where we all know how close he got to tray flipping El Toro. But then later on said that if we were to go back to get a flip trick down El Toro, it would probably would be a big spin because that just kind of shifted in what he felt more comfortable with, I guess. So maybe the same thing has happened to Nigel, but I'm just really stuck on the fact that he said he really wanted to get a flip trick down it. I mean, what, what flip tricks have we seen down it at this point? I think only kickflip from Dave Baczynski. And then the kickflip Millen from Jaws. We've seen a heel flip tried. Of course, the tray flip. The two backside flips from uh, Ryan Schickler and Knight Houston. Oh yeah, we've already seen a switch frontside flip attempt from Token, who I don't really know as a skater. It's not really like the dude who tried to switch frontboard El Toro. I mean, I I'd seen parts from him before that. But Token, I don't really know if I've seen any footage of this mis mystical skater, actually. I guess Tony Willie, he kind of threw some barrel heel flips out there, and it's not to say that he can't do that, but I felt that was a little more just trying things out. I know there was a big beef there with Jocelyn saying that you shouldn't put attempts out like that unless you actually gotta land it. I don't think anyone's tried the front side flip, even though Sandoval probably could have done it in his prime. I mean, he did it down another 20 stair, even though that might be, you know, just a tiny bit shorter or smaller. And he couldn't do that down the UC Davis gap at that ETN thing, which I haven't seen the footage from. I really want to see that. But of course, Jocelyn, he has tray flipped UC Davis, but couldn't really get the tray flip down El Toro. I mean, I, I don't really know what I'm talking about at this point. If we want to focus back in, I was trying to think about some big switch frontside flips from Nigel, and I couldn't really think of many. I think he did one at the uh, ATL block spot in Thrasher, King of the Road. That might have been like a while ago, like 2014 or something. The same one that Andrew Reynolds switched frontside flipped in State Gold. 
And I remember when I saw that one, I thought, yeah, he could definitely do this trick down, some bigger stuff. But at that time, I didn't consider El Toro to be one of them. I haven't really been keeping up much with Nigel Houston on Instagram and stuff like that, but my homie has, and we've kind of been having this discussion, like, could he switch fronts at Flip El Toro? And my friend kind of thinks he might be past the days where he could have done that. He explained to me that it seems like his weekly schedule is just recovered during the weekdays and then on the weekends it's just full send. I actually didn't mean to make that kind of joke there. But I still think he could do it. I think he had a switch front set flip in the new Disorder video, which I didn't really get that impressed by. But I think that was just kind of a quick thing because it seemed like the spot was a bust and he got some other stuff down it. But when I think of Nigel, I mean, he, he's done like switch big heel down Hollywood 16. That must have taken some attempts and a lot of slams. I, I can't remember how many times he tried the backside flip down El Toro, probably like eight times or something. But I'm sure trying to switch frontside flip would be not only easier to bail out from and kind of take the impact of the slams, but if he has it as good as he said he had i would love to see it and you know he is filming for the part of his life at this point so could this be the ender could he actually be getting a flip trick down El Toro? i would love to see it and i would love to know what you guys think could nigel houston first of all get a flip trick down El Toro, one we haven't seen yet and could it be the switch frontside flip i don't think he's going back to the backside flip i think he said that as well but i can't remember it's funny thinking back on when Reynolds switched frontside flip the big ATL block. Is it called the ATL block? I actually don't know. But I just remember I love that clip. I love the way he did it, probably because Andrew is more of a favorable skater to me than Nigel is. But just looking at the two clips, I would definitely assume that Nigel would be the one to be able to take it to a bigger spot. But then Reynolds also capped it in Stay Gold. He's done what he, he's had to do for skateboarding. And a lot of people have been begging him to frontside flip El Toro and he said that's just way too big for him. He did it down to 17 though. And he did it down the long 16 and stay gold as well. Yeah. I don't really know what this video turned into, but I just want you guys' opinions because it's basically just been me and my friend kind of going back and forth like he might be able to do it and he might be able to do it and here comes the part where i try to do the trick we talked about in the video switch front side flip i used to be pretty good at this trick but over the years i've gotten some ankle issues so i won't be able to do my old technique i'm basically trying to relearn them in a new way let's just get warmed up with a few switch tricks and then we'll see how it goes I do have a pop bearing and I cracked my board a little earlier, so it's, it's kind of uphill, but if we can get the nolly backside flip, I think we should be able to get it. Now while a nollie backside flip and a switch frontside flip is basically the same trick just in different stances, I feel there's way less torque on a nollie backside flip so it's much easier for my ankle which is why I haven't really done the switch frontside flip. I think I'm gonna try to do it as a switch illusion flip but I can't really do that so it's not gonna be that but it's just to get less strain or less torque on my ankle. We'll see how it goes.
And there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And once again, let me know in the comments what you think about what I talked about in the video here. Can Nigel Houston get a trick down El Toro? And if he goes for the switch front side flip, could he be able to land that? Until the next video, have a good, peace out. I, like, I knew how to do them at the time, but I didn't have them how I do now at all. And I know that like if I, if I did catch the right one of those, like it would be so much easier to roll away from than a backside flip.